what is the one area of your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? I'll repeat that. What is the one area in your life that you're pretending is not a problem? A little hint for you, that thing that instantly just went into your head, that's it. Like 100%, without a doubt, that's it. My biggest recommendation, the biggest thing that you can take out of this podcast today is to get that figured out and start working on that. Because until you start working on that, then everything else doesn't matter. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. All right, guys, uh, so we just got back to Greenville, South Carolina, AKA home, uh, about an hour and a half or so ago, and uh, just got done recording a Sales Wolves podcast uh, here in the studio. We got Steven Spielberg over here, shining up his lenses. <laughs> Today, I uh, had the last meeting this morning, ended up selling 55 life insurance policies uh, over the last four days this week, so that's all right. Um, could have done better, could have done worse. But is what it is. Uh, I am headed to get a haircut real quick, and then I've got a conference call at five o'clock. I've got a conference call for the Disrupt Tour, uh, Disruptive Innovation Event at six forty-five, and then uh, just hanging out with the family. Crazy day tomorrow. Crazy day. Schedule is nuts tomorrow, and then uh, headed to New York on Saturday. So looking forward to that. And uh, that's it. I'm sweating. It's hot in my office. So there's that too. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow. Flying solo today. There's no uh, wolf pack on this side of the camera. We've got like 13 people on that side of the camera, maybe 18 different cameras going on uh, right now. But this is ex episode 63? 63 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and I'm going to be tackling this one solo. And we're going to talk about the topic of taking ownership. What is it in your life that you're not owning? So when we talk about taking ownership, we're talking about taking ownership in a lot of different areas of your life, but what areas are you not owning? Is it with your family? Is it with your spouse? Is it at work? What particular area at work? Is it with cold calling? Is it with following up with prospects? Is it with customer service after the sale has been made? Is it as an entrepreneur? Is it a million different things, but what are you not owning? And here's a more difficult and a far more awkward question that I'll ask you. What is the one area of your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? I'll repeat that. What is the one area in your life that you're pretending is not a problem? A little hint for you, that thing that instantly just went into your head, that's it. Like 100%, without a doubt, that's it. My biggest recommendation, the biggest thing that you can take out of this podcast today is to get that figured out and start working on that. Because until you start working on that, then everything else doesn't matter. Until you can get over the situation that you obviously haven't been able to get over already because it's still an issue. If you could do it by yourself, you already would have. Until you get through that, there's really no reason to even discuss any other self-development, any other tactics, any other ways to hack anything. So you gotta figure out what that is. And so I highly encourage whatever that was for you, like whatever that thing is that you're pretending isn't a problem, you need to figure it out. 
the best way to do that is, is going to be to get an accountability partner. And in my opinion, it needs to be an accountability partner of the same sex that you can talk to about this issue. Again, if you could do it on your own, you already would have. And so you need someone in your life that can be an ear to just listen to this issue that you have and then be an accountability partner and hold you to the things that you are going to commit to doing moving forward. Uh, it's critical. You can't do it on your own. Got to have some help. Uh, whether that's professional help or whether that's just a friend, a mentor, um, a spouse, a sibling, could be anybody. Uh, but you need someone in your life that can enable you uh, to get past it. So as you go through this process of self-awareness, you're figuring out who you are, um, you start figuring out what you want. Like, what, what's your North Star? Like, what, what do you ultimately want to do with your life? What's success look like? for you uh, and you need to get clear on it you need to get detailed on it um, down to the very very small detail of what it looks like what it feels like what it tastes like what it smells like and you need to start picturing these things and envisioning these things daily uh, whether that's you know your family the type of home you're living in the type of car you're driving the type of people you're associated with the things that you're doing on a daily basis like like what is it? Where do you want to go? And, and what is your why? A strong why is going to get you through the tough times as you progress through life. And as you reach obstacles, like the why is what pushes through. Like the why is what gets you over these obstacles because you remember why you started right? Like the obstacles are imminent. They're going to happen. They're, they're routine. You have to expect them to happen, but having a big enough why, if your why was the quote, if your why is big enough, your excuses won't be, it's, it's just how it works. And so keeping that why in the forefront of your mind uh, is going to be super important. The second is just making a decision. Like it's as simple as just saying it out loud, writing it down and making that decision that you are going to take ownership. Whatever that issue was that you thought of when I asked the question that I am making a decision today to do something about it. And here's what I'm going to do. Write that down. Tell somebody. But make a decision because until you make a decision, you're going to stay where you've been for how long now? So make a decision. Accountability partners are going to be huge. Again, you can't do this alone. So the third step is once you make that decision to do something about it, once you make the decision to take ownership, once you make the decision to turn that you pointing out to you pointing to yourself, you got to find people that can help you. you got to find people that are on the same traje trajectory, trajectory <laughs> as you. And you have to start surrounding yourself with positive influences. you got to start auditing the people that you're surrounding yourself with. And so that's step three. Step four, commit. You just got to commit to it. How many times has that issue that you have come up, you've said, I'm going to do something about it, you didn't commit, and here we are. So this time, this one time, I would just implore, like, please just make a commitment. Make a commitment to taking ownership. I promise you there's no better time than now, except maybe yesterday. Uh, but but just, just do it. Make a commitment to taking ownership, to taking ownership of your life and where you're headed. Uh, and lastly, I can, I, I'm completely empathetic with the fear of making this commitment, the fear of taking ownership, the fear of tackling whatever issue that was uh, that came to your mind when I asked, again, what is the one area in your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? I am 100% empathetic, as I told you in my story, because that was me. Like, I, I still had it and hadn't dealt with it. And it was just fear. Like, I didn't want people to know. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to deal with it. But that fear, that fear alone is the only thing holding you back. It's the only thing holding you back from wherever in the world that you want to take your life to. And so I'd leave you with that encouragement that this unlock is like, it's like unlock, it's, it's the biggest door you could unlock and walk through to make a transformation in your life. Like when you talk about looking back and saying like, hey, there was this one point where I feel like everything just kind of changed. Like this is that thing. Like it's, it's that thing for everyone. 
Uh, so whatever that is for you, it could be it could be seemingly insignificant. It could be I've got to start working out in the mornings and not the afternoons so I can spend more time with my daughter. I've got to start reading 10 pages a day of a book. Or it could be like I've got to stop doing freaking heroin. <laughs> like like quite frankly, like it could be serious. Like I 100% know that because of the way we distribute these podcasts and, and all of our social media, that it's reaching someone that it's a significant issue, that it is a critical, critical issue that needs to be dealt with. Uh, and I would just encourage you to deal with it. Um, if we can be of any help in dealing with it, please send us a Facebook message, direct message on Instagram. You can send me a personal email to info at tylerharrispage.com, uh, info at tylerharrispage.com, and we would love uh, to talk to you about it uh, or at least point you in the right direction of someone that can, uh, can help you with whatever in the world that issue may be. Um, this is kind of a really downer of a uh, Sales Wolf episode, but I think it's an important one. Uh, because taking ownership is the key to success, not just in sales, but in your life. It's the key to success, taking ownership, taking back the power, figuring out who you are, figuring out what you want, figuring out your why, and then figuring out how to deal with that thing that you've been putting off for a long, long time.